This hypnosis routine is brought to you by Brisket Raccoon. So if you enjoy this, please be sure to drop him a note of thanks. And I'd just like to give you a reminder that although I do make commission pieces like this one, all of our publicly available routines are offered free of charge. Our support comes exclusively from patrons and from individually commissioned pieces. So if you like what we do and would like to see more of it, please consider becoming a patron. You can find us on Patreon under the name The Transformation Parlor. I'm Dr. Oren Otter. I call myself a doctor because I recently drank a Dr. Pepper, and I'd rather be a doctor than a pepper. But seriously, I'm the head transformation specialist here at the Transformation Parlor, and I'm going to be your hypnotist today. This one is especially for all those baby furs out there. During this routine, you will be transformed into a baby werewolf, and you'll go on a brief adventure. Now, as always, I would like to remind you that when going into trance, you should go in in a positive state of mind. If you go in with emotional baggage, it could come out in negative ways. You may come out of trance feeling all of those negative emotions flowing out at once. I don't want that to happen to you. I want this to be pleasant. Now, that said, there really isn't anything dangerous about hypnosis. It's something natural that our brains use every day. I can't control your mind. I'm here to help you take better control of your own mind. I can't erase your memories. I can't make you do anything you don't want to do. I can make you believe you're a cow, but that's a video for another time. The important thing is, you are going to be in charge the entire time. And if at any point you don't like what I'm doing, you are free to wake up right then and there and put a stop to it. You are the driver. I am only the navigator. Now, with every video, I always get somebody who says down in the doobly-doo, it didn't work. It will work. Some of you are naturally resistant to hypnosis, so you may take a little longer. But I'd like to encourage you to keep drawing, and don't think of it as something that you have to do. Going into trance is like trying not to think of a rhinoceros with a teacup. The harder you try, the worse you're going to fail. So don't think of it as something you have to put effort into. Think of it as something you have to let happen. Now, I would like you to be as comfortable as you can. So, first things first, if you need to run and use the bathroom or take care of aforementioned emotional baggage, go ahead and do that. Pause the video. I'll wait right here. All taken care of? Good. Now, I would like you to be either sitting down or lying down in a position where your head is supported. Because your neck's going to relax. I don't want your head to flop over. That's not very conducive to deep breathing. Now, you do not have to remain stock still. That's from science fiction movies. I want you to be comfortable. So, if you have to wiggle around, wiggle around. If you have to scratch an itch, scratch an itch. If you have to cough, cough. You'll be fine. Otherwise, just relax, listen to my voice, and enjoy the ride. Now, if you're ready, we'll begin. I would like you to just lay back and relax and think about how good it feels just to lay there and do nothing, like falling asleep in a sunbeam. Just think about how pleasant it feels to fall asleep in a nice, warm, cozy, safe place. I'm going to pull back the curtains on the window here. And as I do, you notice that there's a square of light just beyond your feet. That square of light is going to move toward you. And as it does, every place that that sunlight touches is going to feel warm and pleasant and everywhere it touches you're going to relax every single muscle in your body and as you relax what I want you to do is just let all the stress flow out let go of all the stress let go of all the tension let go of all your worries and cares. Just listen to the sound of my voice and let my words create your reality for you 
as you lay back and just feel good. And you can feel that sunlight starting to touch your toes. And as it climbs upward, all of your toes are relaxing, just feeling so very good as it moves slowly up, touching your feet now, making all of the muscles in your feet relax, coming up slowly bit by bit, all of the muscles in your feet are relaxing all the way up to your ankles muscles in your soles and your heels and your toes just relaxing completely as that warm pleasant feeling starts to come upward past your ankles now up into your lower legs making everything that the light touches feel so very good just completely relaxed completely peaceful and calm as that light moves upward, making all of the muscles relax, making your legs just feel absolutely wonderful as they relax completely, coming up past your shins, coming up past your calves, making all of the muscles in your lower legs relax and feel good. You can feel that light coming up towards your knees now, making your knees feel fine, just totally relaxed, coming ever so steadily upward, further and further up your legs, making your thighs relax, making your hips relax, your buttocks all the way up to your torso everything just completely relaxing, just feeling peaceful and calm and quiet, all of the muscles in your legs relaxing completely, just feeling good as that light continues upward, coming up past your groin now, coming up toward your waist, making everything from the waist down feel relaxed and wonderful. You can also feel the light touching the tips of your fingers, making them feel warm and pleasant. Coming up joint by joint across your fingers, just feeling so good as it makes its way upward toward your knuckles, making all of the muscles in your fingers relax coming up further and further, coming up past your waist to your abdomen, coming up into your hands as well, everything the light touches is relaxing completely, just letting go of all the stress, letting go of all the tension, as the light comes up further and further making everything feel so warm, so relaxed, it just feels so good, like dipping into a pool of warm water, everywhere the light touches, feeling so good, the light is coming up past your wrists now, up into the lower part of your arms, making all of the muscles feel good, Feel relaxed and peaceful, calm and quiet, coming up toward your elbows, making all of the muscles relax, all of the muscles in your abdomen as well, penetrating all the way down. You can feel that warm, wonderful light feeling all the way down to your spine as it permeates everything making you just feel so very good, so very peaceful and calm as all of your stress flows away. It's coming up into your upper arms now, making your biceps and your triceps relax, feeling absolutely wonderful, 
feeling better and better the more that warmth soaks in coming up into your chest now up into your upper back penetrating all the way down into your collarbone your breastplate your shoulder blades everything just feeling so very good soaking all the way down into your heart and lungs making everything feel wonderful as you breathe deeply you breathe in more of that warm pleasant energy coming up into your shoulders now everything from your shoulders down is feeling absolutely wonderful every muscle completely relaxed only your heart beating and your lungs breathing those are the only muscles doing any work you can feel the warmth coming up into your neck now and it feels so good as everything relaxes completely feeling relaxed and peaceful and calm letting all the tension flow out of you all the stress just flow away from your body as you listen to the sound of my voice let my words create reality for you as you start to drift into a pleasant state of trance you can feel that light touching the bottom of your face making the muscles in your lower jaw relax as it comes further and further up making the muscles around your mouth relax in your cheeks around your ears around your nose everything just feeling so very good as that light moves further and further up it's warm penetrating you all the way down to the bone just feeling so good so relaxed and peaceful as you let all the stress and tension just melt away all the muscles around your eyes relaxing now up in your nose bridge your eyebrows all the way up into your forehead feeling so good so relaxed so peaceful and calm as the light moves further and further up up into your forehead the warmth filling you all the way to the top of your head just feeling so good as that warmth completely fills your body now making every muscle relax completely only your heart is beating and your lungs breathing those are the only things that are doing any work so go ahead and take a deep breath and let it out every time you breathe in i'd like you to open your eyes and when you breathe out i'd like you to close them again breathing deeply breathing in more of that warm pleasant energy breathing out the last bits of stress and tension and worry everything just feeling so good and each time you open your eyes you'll notice that they feel just a little bit heavier and each time you close them they're going to close a little bit more easily it's as if weights are being added to your eyelids every time you take a breath and open them breathing in that warm bliss and energy opening your eyes just a little less each time and as you breathe out closing them a little more easily feeling so very good as you breathe in and breathe out breathing in that warm pleasant light and breathing out the last bits of stress it just feels so very good eyes getting heavier and heavier 
And if you'd like to go ahead and close your eyes, you can go ahead and do that. Just close your eyes and let them lock shut. Just relax and listen to the sound of my voice. If you want to try to open them, you can try, but you'll find that you're not able to open them because it just feels so good to relax completely. It feels so good just to lay back and listen to the sound of my voice as my words take you deeper and deeper into a wonderful state of trance. You're doing very well already, but I'm going to help you to go even further into trance. I'm going to count backwards from 10 to 1. When I do, I'll snap my fingers and say sleep. When you hear this, you'll be able to go 10 times deeper into a wonderful state of trance. 10. Proceeding downward now. 9. Just floating like a feather. 8. Further and further down into trance. 7. Sinking pleasantly. 6. Going deeper the better you feel. 5. Feeling better the deeper you go. 4. Further and further with each number I count. Three, feeling absolutely wonderful. Two, almost there now. One, sleep. You're doing very well now. Feeling so very good as you go deeper and deeper into sleep. Feeling absolutely wonderful as we go further and further into sleep, into a blissful sleep, a wonderful sleep, a pleasant sleep, going to that deep, deep sleep, wonderful deep sleep, deep sleep, deep, deep sleep. You're doing very well now. You've gone as far into trance as you can go for now, but I'm going to help you go even further. To do that, I'm going to wake you up for just a moment so we can go even further the next time. One, starting up out of trance now. Two, becoming more aware of your surroundings. Three, further and further up with each number I count. Four, Almost there now. Five, open your eyes. Feeling good still, feeling absolutely wonderful and relaxed. Go ahead and stretch out if you need to. Reposition yourself to be as comfortable as possible. We're just taking a brief little break. And now we're going to be going back down into trance. As I count backwards from ten, going back down now. Nine further and further, eight hundred times deeper, seven thousand times deeper, six further and further with each number, five feeling better the deeper you go, four going deeper the better you feel, three just listening to the sound of my voice, two going so deep, one sleep. You're doing awesome now, going further and further into sleep, into a wonderful sleep, into a deep, deep sleep, wonderful sleep, relaxing sleep, deep, deep sleep, deep sleep, wonderfully deep sleep, deep, deep sleep. That's very good. You're now as deep in trance as you can possibly go. The sun has set now, and the square of sunlight has long since gone. But the moon is out now. There's a square of soft moonlight just beyond your feet. And as the world turns, that square of moonlight 
is coming closer to your body. If you think back to earlier today, you will remember a time when you were playing with some puppies and one of the puppies bit you. It wasn't in malice. It was just a puppy being playful. But that wasn't any ordinary puppy. That was a werewolf puppy. And now that werewolf's power is flowing through you as well. It just needs a little bit of help to kick it off. That moonlight is going to provide the power that you need to undergo your first transformation. Everywhere the moonlight touches, your body will begin to transform. First of all, let's remove your outer clothing. Transforming into a werewolf has a tendency to destroy clothing, so we'll take it off in order to preserve it. We'll leave your underwear until the last moment so that things don't get too awkward. I've now removed all of your outer clothing, except for what's needed to preserve your modesty. And I know you feel okay with that, because in just a little while you're going to be covered in fur. The moonlight is just barely touching your toes now. And the first thing you notice is that your toenails are becoming longer and longer, growing thicker, growing out in a curved shape, each one coming to a point, becoming the claws of a werewolf. Pads are forming on the bottoms of your toes as your feet slowly transform into the paws of a wolf. The transformation proceeds slowly, each part of your body changing as the moonlight touches it. It's coming up toward your ankles now. Your toes are changing position, slowly transforming into paws. Each bit of skin growing long, shaggy gray fur as the moonlight touches it. The transformation is proceeding up toward your ankles now, coming upward with that square of moonlight. Further and further, creeping up your legs, past your ankles creeping up your shins now, making your shins thinner, almost dainty looking, but deceptively strong. Further and further upward, the patch of moonlight creeps, coming up toward your calves, making your calves strong and powerful. And yet, making your lower legs smaller, becoming more like the legs of a wolf. Further and further, the moonlight creeps upward, coming up to your knees now, making your legs thinner from front to back, and yet so much more powerful turning your thighs into the thighs of a wolf, coming up further and further, the transformation progresses, covering your body with a soft, thick layer of beautiful gray fur, steadily upward the moonlight creeps, coming up toward your hips, you can feel a tail beginning to come down and grow outward from the bottom of your spine. It quickly grows long and supple and becomes 
the beautiful bushy tail of a wolf as fur grows in long and shaggy to cover your tail. And now I'm taking off your underwear because you're not going to need it anymore. Your groin is already becoming covered in a thick layer of fur to hide everything that needs to be hidden. Not that it matters. You're becoming a beautiful furry animal and you don't need clothing anymore. The moonlight is touching your fingers now and you feel your fingernails beginning to grow becoming thicker, harder, longer, sharper, becoming the claws of a wolf. Pads are forming underneath each fingertip. The change is progressing up your fingers, making them shorter, thicker, and yet more powerful, progressing up your hands, covering the skin of your hands in a beautiful soft fur, and on the palm, large cushy pads, your hands changing into the paws of a wolf and yet just dexterous enough to still use his hands. The patch of moonlight continues to move up your body, coming up across your lower arms and across your abdomen and everywhere it touches, thick fur is growing in and your body is becoming stronger with muscle piling upon muscle, everything becoming stronger and stronger, better and better. Up and up the changes progress, slowly, slowly as the light moves up toward your solar plexus and your elbows, changing everything that it touches. The transformation just feels so good as your whole body becomes covered inch by inch in wonderfully soft, thick fur and inside you're becoming so much stronger, more and more powerful. It just feels so good. Taking deep breaths, you allow your body to be changed more and more. As the moonlight continues upward, up across your chest, toward your neck, everything feeling so good and your neck as the moonlight touches it is starting to become longer, thicker, more powerful and also covered by that same wonderfully lush coat of fur. It just feels so good to let the transformation happen as the changes creep upward along with the moonlight, every part of your body changing as the moonlight touches your skin, your lower jaw begins to grow outward first, growing long sharp teeth as it progresses transforming into a wolf's lower jaw. The moonlight continues upward, changing first your bottom lip into a glistening 
black, leathery lip of a canine, followed by your upper lip as your upper jaw begins to grow out to match your lower jaw, your teeth becoming long and sharp, your nose becoming black and leathery as well, a little bit cold and wet, becoming the beautiful black nose of a wolf fur now covering everything from your eyes down and your eyes are also changing your irises becoming a beautiful golden color your ears are migrating upward and as they do they're becoming larger becoming pointed and able to swivel around the ears of a wolf. Your eyes become much more sensitive, able to see out in very dark nights. Further and further, the transformation progresses upward, changing the shape of your head as it goes. Up and up, your hair gradually changing to melt in with the rest of your fur, changing into that lush gray coat all the way up to the top of your head. You are now a Krenos, that is to say, a combination of wolf and human. And it feels wonderful to be this way. You are a beautiful werewolf, perfect in every way. And yet, the transformation isn't quite finished. You find yourself becoming smaller. Are you perhaps transforming back into a human? No, because you're becoming smaller and smaller, and yet staying a humanoid wolf exactly as you were, becoming younger and younger as your body continues to shrink, becoming a teenager, becoming an adolescent, aging backward, 13, 12, ten years old, younger and younger, nine, eight, seven, becoming smaller and smaller, a six-year-old, a five-year-old, further and further, four years old, three, now a toddler, becoming smaller and smaller, and now the shrinking has come to an end. You are a toddler werewolf, just big enough to stand up on your own two back feet. Remember, it was a puppy that bit you after all, so it only makes sense that you should transform into a werewolf puppy. Now, there are a few things that you should know. Your transformations are no longer keyed to the moon. You can transform either way just by thinking about it. If you wish to become a human, all you have to do is think about it, and your body will transform into the body of a human. If you wish to become a wolf, all you have to do is think about that, and your body will turn into the body of a wolf. And if you wish to return to this Krenos form, 
All you have to do is think about that. You can transform into a human or a wolf or any stage in between just by thinking about it. However, there is a little bit of magic that the werewolf elders often use to help the little ones learn to transform. If you hear the word moon repeated three times, you will transform. Whichever form you are in, you will transform into one of the other two whenever you hear the word moon three times. For example, let's get you to change into a wolf. Moon, moon, moon. And as you hear the words, you drop to all fours. Your body shifts. Your upper arms becoming shorter. Your hands becoming long and thin. Every part of your body changing from your halfway form into the body of a wolf. Of course, you're still a puppy and you're absolutely adorable. Now, let's get you back into that Krenos form. Moon, moon, moon. And as you can see, you're transforming back again. Your shoulders going back out to the side. Your front paws becoming more like hands. Your torso becoming more of a human torso. Now, because you are a puppy, just to be safe, I'm going to put this diaper on you. Go ahead and step into this. There you go. We'll just pull it up. And there. You're an adorable werewolf puppy in a cute little diaper. And then, just let me slip this pretty blue collar onto you. There we go. We don't want the dog catchers to abduct you, now do we? The collar has a small gold tag in the shape of a bone with your name engraved on it. And it's loose enough that it won't choke you when you change. It's been a while since your first transformation. You're back in your own natural body now, fully human, and your own proper age. It's been a long day. You've been very busy, and now you're feeling tired, laying in your bed, trying to fall asleep. You hear a sound. What was that? You try to forget it and go back to sleep. There it is again, that odd bump in the night. You sniff the air curiously. Something in the room seems out of place. There's a smell that you don't recognize. And that smell is coming from under the bed. Something in this room smells unfamiliar. But then, you only just became a werewolf. Many things smell unfamiliar now. Perhaps it's just an unwashed pair of boxer shorts you left on the floor, or a bag of chips that you forgot to throw away. But no, this smell smells like something alive. And the more you sniff, the more convinced you are that there's something alive in this room with you. There's a monster under the bed. You pull the covers up over your head, knowing that covers are magic. Monsters can't touch the covers. You lift the covers just a tiny bit to peek out. But as you do, 
you see movement. There's a second monster, this one, coming out of the closet. But wait, there are more. Another monster is coming out from behind the dresser, and another one is crawling in through the window, and a fifth monster is emerging from the shadows in the corner. This one is holding a grippy claw, a tool which will allow him to move the sheets without touching them. This looks like trouble, but the monsters don't know about your new abilities. As the monsters creep closer, your body begins to change, becoming smaller and smaller younger and younger. Your skin becomes covered in a coat of gray fur. A tail sprouts from your behind. Your face extends forward in a long muzzle tipped with a shiny black nose. All the while you're getting younger and younger until finally you assume the form of a baby wolfman. The monster with the grabby claw is getting closer, closer, but you are not afraid. He comes closer, very close now, and he's pulling back the sheet with his claw. He stops. He's surprised, shocked even, to find a little werewolf under the blankets. You growl, your hackles raised, and then you jump. You claw and you bite the monster. He staggers around, unable to stop you. Another monster comes to his aid. Then you start clawing and biting that one. The monsters are scared now. One after the other, you claw and you bite. You kick and you punch. Very, very strong, despite your small size. Soon the monsters are running away, beaten and frightened, bloody and bruised going off to lick their wounds. You've beaten all the monsters. Go ahead, howl in triumph. You've earned it. That's right. And now you can sleep in peace, knowing that the monsters aren't going to come back again. As I count backwards from 10 to 1, you're going to go from trance into a natural sleep and then when you wake up in your own time you'll remember everything that happened how wonderful it was to become a baby werewolf and how good it felt to fight off those monsters 10 falling asleep now 9 deeper with each number I count 8 just feeling so good, seven, going into a natural sleep, six, floating downwards, five, feeling better and better, four, into a natural sleep, three, almost there now, two, relaxing so much, one, sleep, and have pleasant dreams. Good night.